I'm not sure if it's the summer heat causing these GPUs to melt, but what is it with the gameplay trailers dropping during Gamescom that look like they're struggling to hold a solid frame rate while they cook eggs on top of them for breakfast that day? We got an order of Sunny Side Up with Stalker 2 a few days ago, and now we're completely scrambled with another game off the grid. You guys remember that one? The one that wasn't an NFT riddled crypto project until I uncovered that it was, and so the company tried to take down my video, but I just said no, and then they admitted, well, well, shit. Yeah, well, if the latest trailer is anything to go by, I'd say that it's not only an NFT crypto project, but it's probably mining in the background based on the frame rates on this one. Actually, future Big Fry here, IGN uploaded the gameplay trailer for Off The Grid a couple of days before the official Off The Grid YouTube uploaded it. IGN's gameplay is running at like 10 to 15 FPS. The Off The Grid gameplay on the official channel is running at 60 FPS. So now I gotta re-edit this video because of IGN's incompetence. Love it. So Off The Grid, a third person extraction game being made by the team at Gunzilla Games, being led by Neil Blomkamp. Yeah, that Neil Blomkamp of District 9 fame. They put a star-studded AAA staff team together to create one of the ugliest looking fucking games I think I've seen in my life. If this is Unreal Engine 5, I'm glad our game stuck to Unreal 4. Jesus Christ. The lack of decent lighting, the muddy textures, the animations from, I'm guessing, what looks to be a third-person template. This is disgusting. According to IGN, Off The Grid throws players into a covert corporate war between three companies on the tropical, dystopian, Teardrop Island. I'm shedding tears looking at this crypto monstrosity. Blending PvE and PvP, you'll experience hectic 150 player battle royales as a cyber limbed zero, fighting to survive while simultaneously taking on a 60 hour narrative campaign. Extract high value loot and upgrade your body with cybernetic limbs to give yourself the edge to reach the top. I do find it strange that nowhere in their marketing, even still to this day, at least on the public side, are they mentioning that it's a crypto-based project in which they have a token called Gun Token. Creative. The only reason why I know this is true is because they tried to suppress my video last year when I exposed them for it. I mean, one look at who Gunzilla Games is following on Twitter and you'll understand that this game has NFT written all over it. No fucking thanks. Also, a shout out to Diskin over on Twitter. He's a user who follows me. He sent me an image of this, which shows the Guns Wallet app where you can manage all of your guns token NFTs that you can get in game. And over here, it looks like you can get uh, a sniper rifle, an A50 fast scope that you can then sell or send or uh, do whatever they want you to do with it. Now, I do have to give credit to their marketing team. They put together a CG miniseries, their website, their logos, their style branding, all looks incredibly well done. And it's definitely easy to fool people when it looks this professional. But it falls apart completely when I see a one minute trailer of a game where half of your gameplay is some old CG dickhead sitting in a streamer room that puts Dr. Disrespects to shame. Or should I say Dr. Scorn? <laughs> I mean, what can you even say about it? The best part of the trailer is the voice actor making a guitar solo sound. And yeah, maybe I'm going a little hard, but like, this is Gamescom. This is main stage event larger than E3. This is millions of dollars invested into a video game that looks like something I'd find on Steam's early access for $15. And the thing is, it's not even all their money. Imagine what people who invested into this bullshit think. The animations, the environments, the lighting here, this all looks very, very early. And as you can see at the top, you see the version numbers like 0.0083. It's okay to be early, but why even show this at all? This is my problem and my main criticism when it comes to NFT crypto project video games is the gameplay always seems to come last, but the, the storefronts and the crypto and the gun token and all of that is planned and meticulously organized to maximize the cash flow. But the gameplay itself is always dog shit. And like, this looks terrible. And what they expect us to be impressed by this you guys have a, a triple a star studded like millions of dollars invested into this and this like 
Okay. I do find it funny that just when the gameplay starts to look really, really bad, they cut it. This guy lands on a rooftop, turns around, and you can see he just starts to glitch out as he's going for the knife. Ah, cut to the guy talking. I feel like I already know what you guys are going to think, but am, am I off the mark here? Or does this just look like one of the worst game trailers that we've seen in quite a long time and i understand they're going to call themselves indie the truth is these guys have an astronomical lineup of developers working on this and i'm not quite sure where all of that talent is going and keep in mind on their own website there's an article from august 9th of last year in which it says gunzilla games raises 46 million dollars to redefine the battle royale genre <laughs> $46 million, and this is what they felt like they should show to the public. What's up, Cobra fans? Welcome to Cobra's Corner. Is this for real? Yes, Black Stabbath. Three huge game developers have gotten together to create the ultimate gaming experience. The top video game players in the world. Are they any good in real life battle royale type situation? Not this, but actually this. It's not playing around on the screen. We do have ex-Navy SEALs coming down. We need the best of the best. Anybody can play. You just gotta be brave enough to take a bullet. Kilo Kitty wants to know if it hurts. Bam! Of course it hurts. Donate a hundred grand worth of cyber limbs. But there's a chance for fame. There's a chance for fortune. I need you to take her down to Midtown Harbor. Do not stop. You can also. Oh, God. Hey, look at me. Welcome to me, fans. Click me. Like me. I don't care. Watch me. Don't watch me. I'm over this whole thing. Don't forget to, to smash that like and subscribe button uh, at the bottom of the screen. Now, even though that looks like complete dog shit, at least it's still years away from even coming out. Oh, wait, never mind. It's slated for later this year. How? What's the game going to look like at launch? Now, apparently on August 1st of this year, the PlayStation Store page for this game was up and then it was taken back down. And then with this article from the loadout saying that it is slated to come out this year, I, I just like, I would have said 2027 just based on how, ba how bad it looks. I'm, I'm just, I'm at a loss for words. This is what $46 million got you. As always, I, I want, I want, I really want to know what you guys think of this one. I think this is the worst game trailer that we have seen, at least in like the double A slash triple A space, I, I want to say ever. But I'm curious. Let me know what you guys think down below. And while you're down there, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content just like this. We're covering everything Gamescom. I'm not going to lie. I'm not very impressed so far with what we've seen. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.